I disagree with him. I think he's a bitch. <laughs> and it was interesting. Like, oh, that reminds me of this story. Uh, when I was in New York City, my parents like, needed sent me a box of just random shit. And I was like, oh, send me that ukulele I actually had to that my to Baba G gave me the last time I saw him. Because, like I just stated earlier, I just called I him the other day. It's a fucking weird. He's like the only you know, person I on the way I over. remember. Besides my you know, I realized but, that that's not. I just called him, dude. Like, it was, was a good like, hey, what's up, dude? And he just didn't call me. That guy, because he's a fucking nigga, whatever. bitch. I don't know. Gender I wouldn't even say he's a nigga. Though. He's a wannabe nigga. A wigger. She had. Wiggity wigger. It was the he's most so dried up now. He's a groom. I've ever had in my life. I've been with some hot women. Anyways, I took and that I ukulele, and that brother commented, bothered me, lady, bothered me so much. It made me fucking want to fucking was on my that fucking days day. Days afterwards. I didn't even so I took a picture, a baby picture of him, I just couldn't and I've hated that motherfucker since the day he came Better out. Better than anyone. I don't know why. She taught me so much. So freeing, man. And then, like, Maybe that's a normal. Thing. I asked her for a phone number, and I'm pretty sure she gave me. He does have blue eyes. He is, you know, you know he's fucking perfect, like, perfect. And everybody loves him. It's and slam he's bam, and then thank you, man. Type thing. of shit. He's not a nigga. I fucked dude. that lady for like I'm a nigga, fucking dude. hours, dude. Never come. Just fucking nigga. Dude. Never come, dude. And then afterwards, I was like, hey, do you mind sucking me off? And Anyways, I took dick. his baby yeah, picture. I still couldn't call I fucking and I just realized that I don't like, like right but nah. Never asking. Put me glitter me. all over it. It was fucking <laughs> dope, dude. That was a dope ass instrument. Never but ever, in New York dude. City, and as I soon as the box arrived, I'm not a bottom with all of my I don't want to be shit. fucked up the ass. Uh, I enjoy fucking it. kind of like works, yes, dude. Bro. Like, everyone was like up on it my shit. Right. And the and tracker was tracking me like I was like an obvious fucking like, I guess I've never had anyone eat out. My so, ass, I immediately just got rid of every goddamn All of it. And they sent me like a bunch of shit. My <laughs> <laughs> shit. Hey, you never know where these blogs will go. You know, fucking last time I talked about my guitar. We went to New York City. Anyways. The, uh, I don't know. Tonight we're listening to the panty. The, uh, that was weird, dude. That one like night, man. It was the oh, first and only night that I met a stranger. I think we got enough of that. It was like this black man. 
And he like invited me back up to his apartment and he was fucking, he was like, hey, do you wanna do some cocaine? And gave me this like minuscule little bump. And I was like, hey, do you want a drink? And I'm like, sure. There we go. I believe I gave that guy a fucking painting. I like, that's what's what's what. But see, like, yeah. I'm like, realizing it. Yeah, and he was like, you have to different kinds of music guys on coming over at the same time. Book. Actually, you gotta help me. So I went clearly. Sounds out the fucking insane. door. It just really does. Yeah, a little high on some like, weird ass powdery reefing music playing. Um, at the same time. Walk back down to the fucking. I finally felt like I could get shit caught. West side I of so Manhattan. And immediately meet some like I'm weird black guy that wants to smoke crack with Feels me. like I get shit caught. Oh, like, wanna try. Like, I do my morning pages. He liked me. Like, he I wanted to not even get the dates right, dude. I literally lost it. So, anyways. I don't know. If I, I got this feeling that the man, and he wouldn't let me play the ukulele. He was like, "Put that ukulele away." Day down, and and it it causes people to come over here, and day. he and just got me thinking down. about that fucking you ukulele. Fucking I was up I'm all night. Take down, or the other I ended up walking. Maybe I just fucked up on to the Chinatown. Which in New York is a weird ass place, man. And it was raining. I'm cats have to and dogs. Off the blog right now. It's raining. Cats and dogs. And uh, I fucking. I remember picking up a rat tail in the gutter. I thought that was really important at the time. <laughs> but anyways, I made it under this highway bridge. Oh, and they sent me like a box full of like all this expensive paint, like hundreds of dollars worth of paint. And I had uh, this like Sheik's robe that I loved and I wore for a long time in New York and all the shit. They sent me my like my goddess tapestry, like everything that was cool that I had, dude, they sent me. And I took that ukulele, I took the Sheik's fucking thing and I wrapped the ukulele up in it and I took the goddess tapestry and I wrapped it up in that. Maybe it was the other way around. I think it was. The goddess tapestry and then the sheik's thing. And then I took all the paint. It was like this weird metallic uh, UV reflective paint. It was fucking awesome shit. And I just poured it all over the whole thing. I just coated it. Coated it, dude. Under the bridge. It's raining like a motherfucker. Right there on the East River, dude. It's this huge river, dude. Huge, dude. Definitely water was moving, dude. Out to the ocean. So, my visualization was that that ukulele would go back to Ghana, where my brother was, uh, cool, bro. Before my brother became an, uh, he used to be cool. And then, I don't know. I wanted him to be cool again and find that coolness, that mojo. And I believe in Ghana, there, there was, was that there, there. Anyway, so that was my visual. I threw the wrapped up ukulele with my brother's baby picture on it and visualized a beautiful black child finding it out in the ocean in Ghana when he was taking a shit and he'd be like, what the fuck is this? Unwrap it and he'd be playing the dope ass shit on that shit. So anyways, I'm just gonna get a fucking ukulele because I just love it. I'm really good at the ukulele. And I'm going to get a trombone, a plastic trombone because that sounds weird. And oh, and a Ciro is what I'm saving up for. Look, we're right up at 13 minutes and I'm gonna stop right there. Magic.